Hi, you guys. First off, I am very irritated about what I'm about to talk to you about. And if you've heard about the controversy of Abercrombie and Fitch and what the CEO Mark Jeffries says, um, if you have it, I'm about to read it to you. It says, when we asked why, <coughs> when we asked why he refused to make clothes for larger women, Abercrombie CEO Michael Jeffries responded, in every school there are cool, popular, and there are those not so cool kids. We go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive all-American kids with great attitude and a lot of friends. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. This is why we hire good-looking people in our stores, because good-looking people attract other good-looking people, and we want to market cool, good-looking people. We don't market to anyone other than that. Now, I am very disgusted at that statement. Michael Jeffries, I don't like you. I don't know you. I don't like you. <clears throat> but as far as you saying that you are attracting good-looking people and non-attractive people and you don't cater to bigger people, let me know that you are not a nice guy as far as I'm concerned right now. I am of a big person perspective. See? And I'm not afraid to show it. Making that statement has irritated so many of my friends. One of my friends who is also of the bigger bone women who are proud had one of your shirts. And she donated it to Goodwill because she didn't want anything to do with it after you have put this so publicly. Um, that disgusted me. I'm very irritated. I have not liked Abercrombie and Fitch just because that's not my style. I didn't have anything against the store. I still don't have anything against the stores <coughs> that are around here because I've never been in them. Um, but as far as you go... I don't know who you think you are calling people attractive and unattractive. Yes, they're skinny. Yes, they're big. Yes, there's all types of people. But you do not have the right to tell who is attractive, who is not attractive. In my eyes and in God's eyes, everyone's attractive. Okay? I'm not one to question your religion, and I'm not going to. But let's just say you have irritated so many people that I know... That is one of the lowest things you can do. Everyone has a specific body type for a reason. I, as m some of my people that watch my videos know, I had HS purple when I was little. Um, you have irritated a lot of people. And you have made a lot of people throw away money on your clothes that they are giving away because they cannot stand that statement. I am an... I am against bullying one million kajillion per whatever the largest number in the world is percent and i am determined to make sure that that stops this is why bullying starts because people like you say this kind of things it gets into teenagers heads they bully other people because they think it's the right thing to do because cool people that are high up in society are doing it i know they're big women too and they're working on their own their own weight issues. People are bulimic, anorexic. They are cutting themselves because people are bullying them for that. You're not helping the situation. I know it's a uh, fact say that it was stated seven years ago, but whatever. It's back in the media. It's getting around quick. I heard it on Ellen. I literally didn't. I saw pictures about it, but I didn't read it because I didn't want to know. I thought people were saying, oh, I love Abercrombie and Fitch. And then I hear her say this on hear Ellen's opinion today, watching Ellen. Your size is not what defines you as beautiful. What defines you as beautiful is who you are. 
and I will put that picture in here that she has that kind of quote in there. It's not, I'm, don't quote me, I didn't say that exactly right. A tongue has no bones, but is strong enough to break a heart. I know words can be painful, verbal abuse is real, and leaves scars. Emotionally and mentally and physically, it can leave scars. I never... I hate how you hate how you know being bullied is firsthand. It's a terrible thing, and I don't know, and I don't understand it. You're a beautiful young woman inside and out. She is telling me this, but I am telling all of you beautiful ladies watching my video this, because you are ignore what society tells you, because all, all society do does all society does is lie. It irritates me to a point of no return that someone so high up in society that gets a bunch of money and has one of, one of a popular store, which may not be so much popular anymore since this came out, um, is going around saying people are unattractive, some people are unattractive, that unattractive people can't work at his store. You have anchored so many people in my life, so many people that I, that I know, and so many people I've seen on TV and everything. It's irritating that people cannot accept who you are as a person instead of looking at your body type. I have said it. So I'm sick of saying it. I know I'm big. I understand that. I am taking control of that. That is not your business, Mr. CEO of a Crabby and Fitch, to tell me where I can and cannot shop. If I have money and I want to spend it at a Crabby and Fitch, you can't tell me what to do because I'm the one giving you business. Okay? I'm the one giving your store money and giving you money for that for that matter. But I. I will no longer dare look at your store when I go to the mall because it irritates me. I want to think of that store every time I see it and have your head and have your ridiculous words in my head. I'm sorry that the CEO of the company wanted to be a bleep bag. Um, you have caused your stores all around the world. To lose business because of what you said. It is not fair and it is not right to tell certain people that they are attractive, unattractive, or you would be to be the one to decide that. All I'm saying is how dare you say that to somebody. To a million people that watch any watch and get their news from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, stuff like that. How dare you? Nobody's perfect, no one can be like a stick. And people that are like a stick are beautiful too. People that are bigger than a stick. People that are like me are beautiful. You need to quit judging people because this is how bullying starts. This is how suicides happen. And this is why there's so much problem in the social media. What is... Mike Jeffries is not the one to tell you who who thinks you're beautiful and who you're not. I, I can tell you you're beautiful till I'm blue in the face. And I will continue to do that. Um... But I'm going to make it clear that you screwed up your entire business because of what you said. I'm going to leave it at that. I love you guys. You're beautiful. Forget what Mr. CEO of Abercrombie Fitch says. Love you. Bye.